to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today is the award ceremonies at school. Today is day seven after having cruise. I am heading to school. I'm not officially going to work, so don't worry about me. I still have a sub, but I am going because I want to be the one to hand my kids their awards today. And I also, of course, want to see my own children's awards. So I'm headed off to school. I can't wait to see my students. Today is the last day of school. I could not be more excited. I'm feeling okay. I am on some narcotic pain medication for my C-section, but I did not take it last night, and I did not take it today because I knew I would be driving today, so. I am feeling it this morning, but I'm still on ibuprofen, and you know, I can do this. Brady and Ezra are all dressed up for awards day, and Evan is dressed up for awards day too, but I forgot to tell you guys, he actually he spent the night at his friend's house. His friend um, asked if he had come spend the night last night since it was the last day of school. And you know what? It's a school day, but it's the last day of school. So I figured why not let them have fun. So they're spending the night together. And after school today, Evan actually has a pool party to go to. And then after his pool party, he's spending the night with another friend. Brady has a pool party after school today, and then he is hanging out in pajamas watching movies till late so that Lance and I can go to the hospital and he can have some fun while we're gone. I'm just so thankful that my kids have amazing friends and amazing parents that make sure that they have fun, especially in a time when our time is like busy as a family. It just makes me feel so good. Look at these handsome boys. They look so cute for awards day. Brady, your backpack's coming unzipped, okay? You need to sit down and zip it up. Brady hands out all eight honorable, most creative awards. Woo! Woo! The most dashing. Most dashing. Most dashing. Their own businesses. They made their ideas come to life. 
and this was the fifth year we've done this project and it's truly been the most creative and the most amount of effort we have ever seen from a group of fourth graders. So thank you and can you join me with giving all of the kids a round of applause. And the first place most profitable business in Mrs. Frenzel's class with a profit of $578.52 is Merge CEO Evan Frenzel. Of 2027. <laughs> so you look exhausted, though. That's his goal. <laughs> I just got home from school and I had so many gifts that my kids got me for the end of the school year, and I literally just sat here and like read all the letters. Oh my gosh, they wrote me the sweetest things, you guys. I literally just sat here and read all the letters. I'm so hormonal, but like with these letters, they could pick any teacher in the school they wanted to write to, and so many kids chose me, and they wrote me the sweetest things. And the parents and the kids wrote me the sweetest cards. I literally just sat over here and bawled for like an hour, and I know I'm hormonal. I just had a baby. I didn't take any pain medication. I came home like in pain, but I was so touched by everything. It's just so sweet. I just feel... So blessed and so lucky. They got me the sweetest little gifts. They got me lots of stuff for cruise. So many gift cards, so nice. They got me preemie pampers, which I've never even seen in the store before. Some honest diapers that I haven't ever had with the boy print on them. Some honest wipes, some water wipes. This little sign that says, be kind and kindness will find your back. This super cute little cut by Swig. And then on the other side, it says Miss Frenzel. And then of course, the boys awards and everything that you guys saw already. And Evan's little trophy, he's so proud of. It says future entrepreneur, most profitable business. When people ask me like, why in the world would you go back to work? today this is why like i could not miss this day with these kids i love them so much i would have just been home and heartbroken had i not gotten to spend today with them and not only that but my principal's last day was also today so i wanted to be there for that and i wanted to be there for my own kids award ceremony so today was really important to me and i just kind of took a break from NICU life for just a little bit and it did my heart good like i i felt so good today and anytime anyone asked me like, oh my gosh, Lauren, how are you here? You know, how is your baby doing? How are you feeling? Are you sure okay? I'm like, absolutely, because right now I just feel so blessed. We're gonna have to bring some breast milk to cruise in a little bit. I just got done pumping. Have I mentioned that I love my pump so much? By the way, if you want a Willow breast pump, I do have a link in the description box that you can click. And when you click it and purchase your pump, you also get like 48 free bags. If you click it and I get 48 free bags, so if you're gonna buy a willow yeah. pump please please use my link guys this is what my belly looks like at seven days postpartum from a c-section with the c-section it seems like my skin is like hanging right here but it's okay and i just took off the steri strips that my doctor put on they were starting to come off and so he said i could take them off whenever that happens Cruz's monitor that we can see him at the hospital has been turned off for a while we've just been praying that while they're taking care of them that they were giving him CPAP and they just turned the monitors back on and he has CPAP. So I'm just really excited about him moving forward and we're gonna go see him at the hospital. Cruz has his CPAP machine on today and he's doing so well. He's off the intubation and that's one step further on the checklist of things he has to do before he can go home. In order to get off CPAP, he has to be both 32 weeks and 1500 grams. So they'll just keep him on this and wean him off of the oxygen until he meets those requirements. 
Lance got to hold Cruz for the first time. How does it feel holding him? It feels great. Does it? Doing so good. I know he pushed. He's so strong. He's holding his head up trying to sing. I know. It's hard to see his face right now because of the CPAP machine and because they want Lance to have skin-to-skin -skin contact with him. So he has to have as much of his body like vertically inside Lance's shirt right now. It's not the most comfortable position with a CPAP machine, but we're trying to get crews comfortable like that. Today is the second day in a row that we're leaving Nikki with a positive experience. Not that the other ones weren't positive, but it was just such a good day. Lance got to hold him. Cruz is on CPAP. It just felt so nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was a lot easier to be able to hold him since he's on the CPAP now instead of the, what's it called? Intubated. So yesterday it was a lot harder because he just had so many tubes. And even though today, like, yes, he had a lot of stuff that we had to worry about. It wasn't quite as much as yesterday. There was only two pieces of tape on Lance's chair. Whereas yesterday, we were kind of balancing a lot there. So that was nice. The only downside is as far as like holding him is concerned is that if you do kangaroo care where he's facing you, you can't really see because CPAP goes against your skin and then you can't see his face at all. And then he also, is too big for the smaller hat that holds it on but the bigger hat kind of covers his eyes so you can't really see him as well it makes it a little bit stressful but he has monitors that you can see and so of course if the CPAP isn't in the right place then he'll desat on his screen but it just makes it a little bit stressful because you try to give him his pacifier which he likes to calm down and you can't really see when it goes in his mouth now we're gonna head to pick up Brady because he's been hanging out at his friend's house late tonight watching movies in their pajamas. We just picked up Brady from his friend's house and it sounds like they had the best time. They all went swimming together. I'll insert a little clip here. They built forts outside with sticks and rope. So he had a really good time and it's so nice that he still got some fun happening in his life even though our life is kind of turned upside down. But we're headed home now. My mom's at home with Ezra and Jenna. She's like holding down the fort pretty soon. My poor mom's gonna need a break from everything to kind of refuel herself before she comes back before next week. But really, we really appreciate everything she's done. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. If you have any questions for us, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys. If you enjoyed any part of this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to our channel if you'd like to follow along with our family and see more videos.